quickly before I start, we're giving away 600 credits to one lucky winner. All the rules are down below if you do want to enter. I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, I can't take no loss. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah. Windhorn boot. We'll take that. Let's fucking go. Nice. I mean, it is a nice little rare drop that. Right, so I've just run two hours straight of Lytra Raids with my boy Anti-Venom and Yuluthu. This is the final one of the sesh. And... We didn't get anything, but we did get a ton of cash. We got 51 raid tokens in that two hours too. Literally the fastest raid I've ever done in this game. Appreciate it, guys. Next time we'll get luckier. If I'm honest with you all, I'm getting a little bit tired of my main priority just making as much money as possible on this game. I wanted to relax, enjoy the game a little bit, so I decided to do a bit of skilling. I'm going to start some Hunter on the account. I'm here at the Hunter Teleport. going to trade the Hunter next part and pick up some of these traps. I'm looking at the Hunter Guide on the website and it says you can use two traps at level 1. And it tells you what you can catch. And actually just so much information. So cool to have all this. I don't think I've ever caught a raccoon on RuneScape, I'll be honest with you, so... I thought that was... Oh, the bird snares, what am I doing? I have to lay box traps. So which one is going to be my first? Hey, let's go. And when you drop him, he's on the floor dead. That's so sad. Yeah, I'm going to do this for a bit, should be some easy levels. And we'll work towards getting 99. There's 63 Hunter, we can now move on to Chinchompers. And then at level 65, there is a custom animal out there that we can catch with a lava trap. Yeah, so skinning on here is super simple. It's just like how it is on RuneScape, but towards the later levels, in pretty much every single skill, there is a custom element to it. For example, at RuneCrafting, at level 95, you can make some Akdal runes. Don't know what that's all about, but I do love the custom twist. I have found the Chinchompers. Let's see how much XP we get. Oh, 17,000 XP per one. Was getting like 6,000 with the raccoons. That's so nice. So yeah, massive jump in XP. I'll probably stick around here to be honest and not do the special monster. But yeah, I do want to check out the custom ones eventually. Maybe the level 85 void salamanders. But yeah, for now this XP is insanely fast. 87 hunter. Alright, let's see how much XP these give. The thing is they're not as close together as chinchompers are. So there definitely won't be as much XP per hour. I'm honestly just interested to see how much XP you get from one. Get here, boy. There we go. 21,000, so yeah, like what, 4,000 more than Chinchompers? Not worth doing that. Halfway to 99. 99 Hunter has been achieved. And we caught 714 red Chinchompers along the way. Also, quite a few raccoons that I picked up. I got 40 vote points, so I'm going to spend all of them on the Book of Wisdom, I reckon. Gives me 50% extra XP for 10 minutes, and we can buy over an hour's worth there. Next up, 99 Crafting. Ninety-nine crafting coming in. 75 rune crafting. We can now use a giant pouch, which is actually dope. It's gonna give us a lot more XP. Another skill cape is unlocked, being rune crafting. 99 coming in. For the remaining 99s I need to get, I'm gonna have to buy supplies from different players. Um, as I can't buy bars for smithing, I can't buy logs for fletching, I can't even buy grimy herbs or even clean herbs for herb law. I don't think there's a shop to buy some planks unless Varrock has that shop. I don't think you can buy planks either. Yeah, it doesn't look like there is. So yeah, I'm going to have to start hitting up a few skillers, I think. So I can actually work on towards getting these 99s up. Just wanted to show you guys my collection log of the Lytra Raids, the one that I've been running. We've got a few red drops. We've got the Windhorn Boots, of course. That's probably the best drop I've had so far. Got Pernix, Tava, and we did get the Virtus from the 100 red tokens. If I'm 100% honest with you, the best way to make money from my account is to keep doing this raid until I get one of these pieces at the bottom. Earth Dweller, Sea Dweller, Elytra Earth and Elytra Horns, because these are worth billions. 
My current bank at the moment is probably about 7 to 8 billion, maybe, just about. And one Sky Dweller piece can go for 15 bill, which is actually ridiculous. Still no sign of this. I'm very confident they will eventually come now. I'm going to quickly throw these in the POS. Maybe get an extra bill for all of these together. I'm going to put the Virtus rub top in there for 100 mil. There's no Pernix in the POS at all, so I'm going to put that in for... I'm going to be cheeky and put it in for 400 mil. If somebody's desperate to buy it, I guess it will sell. Yo, there's no Torva either. Fucking hell. It's my lucky day, isn't it? I'm going to put that in for 400 mil as well. So if all of them sell, that's an extra 900 mil to the bank. So the current objective for the account is to carry on doing them raids and wish for the best, and steadily go for the 99s. And to get 99 farming, I think I'm going to stick around here at the AFK zone. We'll slowly but steadily get that. And, I think, it is time we go to the shed. You haven't heard that in a while, have you? That is a beautiful sunrise, holy shit. Check this out, guys. Good morning to you too, sir. I'm always up at this time, but I never noticed just how pretty it is, you know? It's picking up on the camera as well, I think, but the world has got like a little bit of an orange tint to it right now. It's beautiful. Very, very cold though, I won't lie to you. It's super duper cold recently. And yeah, take a look at this, guys. The shed, unfortunately, has seen better days. Ignore how messy the garden is right now, but we used to jump from the top of the shed onto the trampoline that was right here. And I guess we put a lot of pressure onto this plank of wood and it's kind of just fucking gone through. You're an old shed, aren't you? We've been through some memories. So I bought this brand new piece last week. It cost me, I think it was £10, actually. It was very cheap. And trust me, it hits you, man. It, it really does get you stoned. You know, it's uh, some very good CBD weed. Fucking nightmare. Turns out we don't even have a lighter. So I'm going to get on this bike. And we are off to the shops. Mission accomplished, boys. Got the two lighters. They do work as well. I also got myself some breakaways. A lovely, lovely chocolate bar as well as that. I got a nice Yazoo milkshake, which I put in the cup holder on the bike, which I didn't know the bike had. I'm quite impressed with that. And yeah, it's quite quite sturdy. It doesn't fall out. We've made it back to the shed with a lighter, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. I know it's been a bit of a, a shit episode in terms of progress. It's been a sure one. We've enjoyed our time skilling. We are working towards the max gear. I do want to get that eventually. So yeah, cheers to that, boys. Thank you all for watching. Let's back it up. <coughs> Harsh that. And yeah boys, thank you all for watching, I'm fucking dead, and yeah my friends, that is it for the video, I will see you in the next one, goodbye. They love to see you at your worst, stick the knife in where it hurts, fuck them all, I know my worth, I'm cashing in for that purse, I spent years in that dirt, now I'm taking chances, I'm building my own church. They can't take away what you've been going through for years, but I'm back in this bitch overcoming these fears, no hip hip.